Hi, I'm Chuck Cole with Holdergen Cull. Over the past 20 years, we've done a lot of uh, rock bolt designs, soil nails, temporary tieback shoring, and um, in the last probably eight or nine years, we've come up with what we think are some relatively unique or different methods for using rock bolts and micro piles. Um, we've done we've done rock bolts uh, anywhere from as little as seven kips up to 750 kips for the Folsom Lake spillway. The other side I want to talk about is Caltrans signs going up over Highway 80. Uh, their foundations typically consist of a five to six foot diameter CIDH pile about uh, 20 to 25 feet deep in the ground. And they work well in the valley and as you start climbing into the foothills uh, and then you start needing rock bits and core barrels and by the time you get up over the summit you're drilling and chipping and blasting to get down 25 feet to take 30,000 psi granitic rock out to put 4,000 psi concrete in. So what we came up with, and this is in review for Caltrans right now, is we've, we've come up with a deepened section of a footing. Hopefully the contractor can get about uh, four to five foot deep before he hits competent rock. We have to chip a little bit to get that. That would allow us to put the ring foundation in for the anchor bolts, originally designed for the overhead signs, and then create a mat foundation above this. These are typically about 10 feet and feet wide. And then heavily reinforce this. Everything's set, reinforcing set, it's cast. We sleeve the corners and then we set our anchor bolts down in the corners. The wider we go with the footing, obviously the less overturning moment we have to take. But that's not what really governs because we can take these bolts up to 750 kips if we need to. Although that's not necessarily the case here. But uh, these, these bolts, I believe, were taken anywhere between 80 to 90 kips. So that's in review with Caltrans right now. There's a lot of signs that are coming up uh, in the Grass Valley area here and going over the summit. We're hoping to get this approved within the next week or so so the contractor can start putting this new design in.